This is a buck in the odds video. Hey Buck and the Odds here. Um, it's early morning. Uh, Uriah and I, what we like to try to do is uh, get in these bedding areas and call out across the flats when it's still early because we're, we're hoping to get them out on the hunt and uh, bring them ba back up the hills. We like to sit up in an elevated position when we can. So we're just going to walk over around the corner of this hill and try to get a, a spot to sit down and see if we can't bring something off those bottoms down there. These are the coyotes that are the most exciting, but my least favorite. The fast in, fast out coyote. They rarely give you reaction time. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, shoot again, dude. I just threw it out. I hit right, I was right on him. Or not. He might have died right over here. <laughs> did you see what I did? Dude, I didn't think I was going to get him on film. I could not find him. Uh, I wish I'd had a third shell in here like crazy now. Did you only have one? I freaking shot and pulled it back. Did you hit him? I was right on him. It didn't look like it phased him. Or not. <laughs> I was right on him. I mean, I've I seen him down here for a while, dude. Maybe he's dead. Let's go look. This coyote was headed straight towards a mojo critter in a dead sprint when something caught his eye. Once he realized we didn't quite look right, he hit the brakes just as I pulled the trigger. This coyote couldn't have been luckier. Some of the things we do to better us as coyote hunters can hurt us on some occasions. This shotgun is choked down to a tight pattern, so we can easily hit coyotes out to 50 and 60 yards. I was tracking this coyote in a dead run with my barrel when he hit the brakes. I shot a small pattern right in front of him. He was 20 yards. Lance Benson with Buck and the Odds. Uh, we just spotted a coyote way off in the distance down there. He's kind of by a little reservoir. Um, we were a little bit farther to the north here. So we traveled south hoping that we could get uh, a little closer to him, hopefully get our sound out there a little bit better. And uh, when we were over there, the wind was blowing right in our face going up the hill, which we were pretty excited about. We got down over here, and the, typical with the mountains up here, the wind just sit, switches directions. So it ended up blowing straight down the hill, and we didn't think we were going to have much of a chance at it. That coyote finally popped up over the hill after calling a few times. And uh, once he did, I never got on the mouth call again. The uh, e-caller was turned down the low, and I was really surprised he could he could hear it. But, man, he locked onto that way out there and started running straight in. So I knew it was going to be a shotgun kill coyote because uh, usually if they just come in at a sprint, they won't change. And he ran right through our scent cone. Uh, right towards that critter. Once he seen that critter, he wasn't going to change his mind. He's he was going for the kill. And uh, <laughs> bad news was I just changed shotguns from a 12 gauge pump to this uh, auto. <laughs> and uh, I shot, and I should have got some of him. I don't know what happened, but uh, I guess I thought I needed to do something, so I jacked the the last round I had in the shotgun out on the ground. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think I better shoot this thing a few more times back at home. <laughs> Get used to it a little bit. <laughs> uh, I think I got enough uh, bloopers now to make a Lance's blooper reel. <coughs> <coughs> well, we just went and made an effort looking for that coyote. And, I mean, he could have went anywhere, but uh, we couldn't find him. Uh, reality is, it might just have been a clean miss. I really thought I was leveled down on him but uh he 
he didn't even act like he flinched when I shot. Uh, this is gonna happen in hunting. Sometimes you just, sometimes you just miss and they get away. But uh, I think I'm gonna give the gun to Uriah now, and I'll run the camera. Seems like I do a better job on the camera than I do the gun today. <laughs> The moon was bright the night before. The coyotes weren't as active as we would have liked. It was still good to get outside and smell the fresh mountain air. And Uriah is still laughing about my miss. Join our new hunting forum. Share and learn Bible hunting techniques at www.buckingtheodds.com. Mojo Outdoors. It ain't magic if it ain't mojo. All the camouflage worn in this video was provided by King's Camo. Crooked Horn Outfitters. Quaker Boy Game Calls. Hunter's First Choice. Type in Buck in the Odds in the YouTube search engine and watch all of our videos. Special thanks to Big Smith. www.bigsmithpan.com